in a single crank single acting compressor the low pressure and high pressure pistons are connected in tandem to a single crank in low pressure stage when the piston moves down the atmospheric air is inducted the compressor air from the first stage flows to the second stage through the intercooler the pressurized air is inducted into the second stage as the piston moves up compression takes place in both stages the high pressure air from the second stage is delivered through the after cooler in a single acting two crank compressors the low pressure and high pressure pistons are connected to two separate cranks as the low pressure piston moves down air is inducted through the air filter when it moves up the air is compressed and delivered to the second stage through the intercooler the air is further compressed in the second stage and high pressure air is delivered through the after cooler in a double acting compressor compression takes place during the upward as well the downward stroke of the piston in this arrangement the low pressure first stage piston is at the top and the high pressure piston is at the bottom in the first stage as the piston moves up air is compressed and the compressed air is inducted into the second stage when the piston moves down the pressurized air is further compressed in the second stage in the meantime the low pressure stage inducts fresh air from atmosphere to an air filter in this way the process is cyclical in three stage compression the air is inducted at the first stage compressed cooled by the intercooler and delivered to the second stage in the second stage the air is compressed further and delivered to the third stage in the third stage air is compressed to the required pressure and delivered through an after cooler when the piston moves up air is compressed in the first and third stages whereas air from the first stage is inducted into the second stage